Hello everybody, this is Mr. Everything and I'm coming at you with a video on my Cyborg Rat 5 mouse. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the software to adjust the profile because the reason why I am, some people asked me about, they said, Mr. Everything, how did you set that macro? How did you do that? So I'm going to bring up the Mad Cats program and we're going to we're actually going to look at it and I'm going to show you exactly how it's done. This is my Rat 5. That's what the mouse looks like. Okay, it has a lot of different programming buttons. There's a button right here for mode. There's a button right there for left, right, left and right mouse button, of course. You've got your mouse wheel, of course. And then right here, you've got a DPI switch. This panel right here can extend and retract to give yourself a larger uh, footprint. So when you're grabbing your mouse, you know, you can, you can fit better in your palm or your hand. Um, this is a wheel here that turns uh, that you can have a left and right scroll. You have a precision aim button there, and then you've got the web page forward, web page back button. But these are all programmable. Every button is programmable. And then you've got a knob back here that you can take off and add weights and then tighten it back up. This is a thumb rest. You rest your thumb on this. So you're when you're so when you're moving your mouse around, your thumb is not dragging on your mouse pad surface. There is a grip pad or grip plate on the other side so that when you are pushing these buttons you're also pressing because I know that when I used other mice I would press on both sides I'd squeeze the mouse trying to get uh, a certain button to work on this side when in fact I was pressing buttons over here and buttons over there well on the rat there are no buttons over there so you can just comfortably grip it while pushing these buttons over on the other side so then we go to, uh, you got these options here. Well, the one thing that I'm wor working with, and it's not the settings, because the settings allow you to adjust the DPI and your precision aim and, thing, and the mode select buttons and, and all that. Well, we're not worried about the DPI that, and all that stuff. I've already got all that set, and that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the macros. So let's go to programming, because we're going to program some of these buttons. Well, I'm going to use, okay, I've got an untitled profile loaded. It's basically generic, okay? We got scroll, precision aim, forwards, backwards, thumb anti-clockwise, thumb clockwise, right? Okay, and that's in mode one. And you also you have mode two and you have mode three and they are color coded. You have red, blue, and purple. And these uh, this light right here changes. So you can actually have all these buttons set up with mode one and then go to mode two and all these buttons could do something different. Then you can go to mode three and all these buttons do something different. Okay, so that's just however you want to look at it. Okay, so but let's go to mode one and because I'm just going to set up a crazy macro just so you guys can see how everything works. Now, I'm going to set up this macro for my precision aim button because I don't use precision aim. I just use this button here to lower my DPS to the point that I need. Um, and when you do, when you, whenever you press this button, there are colored lights along the side here. It goes one, two, three, four, and it corresponds to one, two, three, four. See how these? They got four lights, three lights, two lights, one light. Um, so, like with one light, look at my DPS. It's way down. You can see how slow my mouse is going. And then if I go with two, my mouse speeds up. If I go with three, my mouse whoa really flies. And then that's as high as I wanted my DPS was 25. Okay, uh, you could go all the way up to 5600. Okay, but that's my normal DPS right there. And then you can change that with uh, this this button here. So if I wanted it to be really low precision aiming, I could click that and get precision aiming. I don't need to have a precision aim button. Okay, back to programming. Okay, so pre precision aim button. All you do, and this is just something you can can do on your own. You just click. Duh, that's why you're. Here. You click the precision aim. Now you type in whatever you want your activity or um, whatever your uh, macro you want it to be. Let's say I want it to be, hello, how are you doing? Okay, I will go shift H, that's so we get a capital, right? Hello, space, how, space, R, space, you, space, doing. Shift question mark. Okay, so um, shift slash is the question mark. Okay, so far so good, right? We got that. Now we hit OK. It saves it. Now we got to name it. I'm going to name it. How are you doing? 
Okay, that's that's what I'm doing. That's what it's going to look like when I when I press the key. Now I hit enter, and it saves. And if you notice in blue here, how are you doing? So this button has been saved. Now I'm going to save this, save it as um, a different profile. My profile will be my greeting profile. Okay, that's what we're just going to say. We're going to save it. So now you know loaded profile is greeting. We're going to activate that profile. Okay, so it's saved as. How are you doing? Now I'm going to bring a word. Do something like that, right? Okay. So I'm going to type. I'm going to use the mouse button. I'm going to press the precision aim button, the red button, and see what happens. Boom! Look at that. It says, "Hello, how are you doing?" Okay, that works all well and good in Word, but in the game, what like you know, well, specifically Mech Warriors, what I'm uh, used it on, uh, when I press the macro it tries to press all of these keys at exactly the same time so sometimes yes it comes out spelled this way sometimes it gets mixed up letters get jumbled um, and there's a way to prevent that okay let's go space space okay let's go back to the programming let's go back to programming how are you doing I'm gonna click it okay now we've got the shift hello how are you doing displayed and you can scroll if you need to to see your whole thing but now if I right click it it gives me some options here and one of the options that I want to do is set quanti quantize time okay so when I quantize time it asks me how much time between all actions well I want it to be 0.1 seconds hit OK hit OK hit save because it's already saving it under greeting I'm going to activate the new save now when I press the precision aim button this is what the macro does I'm holding the button down if I was to let go of the mouse button it stops at where I where I finish but if I press it again it probably will start at H again yep so what I would do in the game probably is if I forget to hold it down is just start over and then press and hold the button down holding it holding it holding it boom and then I would just hit enter and it would display in my chat right but I don't want it to be that slow so hello how are you doing space quantize time notice how it reset but now I'm gonna go point zero zero one okay okay save I'm gonna activate it okay now when I press the precision aim button boom it goes really fast types it out okay so you can you can see that there is a difference every time I press the button you get that right okay it doesn't have to be that uh, like your back button if you don't want it to be um, set as a back button you can scroll it now are there other options yes record the mouse so let's say you want the mouse to do a specific thing like left right left right mouse uh, like let's say you want it to go left right left right left right or something you could do that okay so let's record the mouse then we go left right left right left right and then you hit save right boom so it'll go left right left right uh, you know so you get it Okay, but I'm not going to save that. I don't, I'm, I don't want that. Unprogrammed. There you go. It goes back to being the back button. Okay, so uh, that's how easy it is to set up a macro to type something out in the game. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to do a repeating macro. And this, is, this would be great when you're doing a chain of events, like if you're trying to fire a cannon and you want it to go 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 until the enemy is destroyed, right? So I go, and this this was I'm specifically using it for like an AC2 in Mech Warrior Online, where I want my cannon to go bang, then I want my second cannon to go bang, and then I want my third cannon to go bang, and then I want my first cannon to repeat and go bang, and then my second cannon to go bang, and my third cannon to go bang. So then it will go bang, 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 and it'll constantly be a steady stream of shells downrange. So. If you guys are familiar with MechWarrior and a lot of other games, when you press an action, like a heal action or something like that, you have to wait a specific amount of seconds for that 
action to recycle before it is usable again, right? Same thing in MechWarrior. When you shoot a cannon, you have to wait a few seconds before it can be shot again. And uh, the way AC2s work is they will shoot once every half a second. So every 0.5 seconds, the AC2 will fire. So let's go to the precision aim button. Any button you can choose. I want it to be an advanced key, so I have to right click it. Okay, I'm just going to go one, two, three. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to put AC2. Okay. Now it's got uh, now it's got a, this option for me to go to the advanced actions, right? So we want to do an advanced new advanced command. Okay. This is what we want it to be. We want it to be an advanced command AC2, and we want it to just not just press and do that, and we don't want it to just we want it to repeat something. And the, the keystrokes that I want it to repeat is one, two, and three. So we go one, two, three. Okay. Now, if you notice, uh, it took a total of 0.697 to do all the keystrokes. Well, that's too much time because I want it to be real close to 0.5 seconds. Okay, we're going to assign this as a macro, sure. But I'm going to right click it, quantize time. Now, if I was to divide by 6, how do I get 0.5 divided by 6, right? Uh, it's probably going to be less than 1.3, uh, 1.2. Let's try it and just see what happens. Uh, let's OK it. Oh, look at that. It came to, came to 0.6. Okay, so let's try. If I go 0.1, it'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, simple enough, right? Okay, holding shift down, selecting them all. Quantize time. 0.1, 0, 0. I guess we'll leave it at that. That gives me 5 seconds. Okay, but I it's going to hiccup. That's going to hiccup. It's going to go one, two, three, and then maybe miss this one, and then go to this one because I know the way MechWarrior works. So I'm going to quantize time just a little bit more precisely. We're going to go with 0 0.101. Okay, so now it'll go bump, 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 and it'll be just that little extra time there needed for it to go bump, bump, bump again. Okay, we're going to got the macro. We're going to OK it, and then. Now my AC2 macro should go 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Okay, now that's activated, it should work. Hopefully. Mark my words. There it is. Look at that. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And that would be the each one of those would be a cannon firing. Bang, 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 bang. Okay, and then what you do in MechWarrior is just assign your three different cannons, one to fire on the one button, one to fire on the two button, one to fire on the three button, and then when you push the single precision aim button, you're constantly getting a steady stream of AC2 fire down the range. And the reason why I said one, two, three, and not one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, five, is because in MechWarrior, you have Ghost Heat that starts at four AC2s, and five's a thing of the past. Alright, well thanks for coming out and checking out this video on how to set up a macro for your RAT5.